y'all welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be an apartment vlog not sure what i'm going to name this yet but if you're new here hey my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so if you see me in the same area setting attire as a another video mind your business <laughs> i had to record an intro to this video because i recorded this vlog on my ipad and my iphone because my camera had to go get fixed for a week and you know i, I wasn't going to wait a week to put up all of this stuff in my new, in my apartment so i'm going to be kind of narrating this vlog in a sense so in the beginning of this vlog um i've been getting a lot of packages this week well last week but this week of the video i've been getting a lot of packages so i'm going to be showing you guys um i got new what is it like jars i guess for my spices um we're going to be putting those together in this vlog and then i also wanted to try to get this playpen for oreo um the video that i recorded of me talking about this is actually like lagging so i don't know if i'm going to be able to like fully put that whole clip in because the clip was like 10 minutes so i'll probably try to throw in bits and pieces but i did get this playpen for oreo and it ended up being too small so i was just going to send it back and get a bigger size but i'm like well he already has a cage i don't really care about the playpen and i bought it because i also bought him the fresh patch of grass um that you buy for like 30 dollars. they send it straight to your doorstep i got it it just didn't work like they're literally just playing on the grass or they just decided to like eat the grass basically so that's the reason why i didn't get the play pin again but after that i took it back returned it back to Coles. um then i decided to go to sleep for that day and then i woke back up i think the next day um and i went to home goods with my friend janae and we got some stuff so from Coles, i did get a um what is it like a shoe rack um i think i actually recorded this so i'm just probably going to throw that in right now and then we'll come back a whole bunch of other stuff so it comes with the whole kit like everything that you would need and then it comes with i think it said like 300 labels so it has all the spices labeled on here super cute and then these are the glass jars i just want to make sure none of these are broken pull one out they look really really nice as you can see really nice open and then i like the ones that come with the little guard i hate the spices that people get and you literally have to like pour it out so it comes with the little guards so yeah excited about that i did get the tags that are labeled black because i just want black white and slightly brown so yeah i'm excited about these it's a lot i need to go shopping too for some more seasonings but i think i only got about like 10. i don't see any broken glass i think all of these are pretty okay so i'm gonna set these aside but they package them really well the boys are like going crazy right now all right, they look pretty good, so I'm gonna put this to the side. And I don't even know how much freaking space I got on my phone trying to record vlogs <laughs> and stuff. This one is for Oreo, it's like a playpen. Uh, I'm trying to get him out of the cage, if possible. Like, my ultimate goal with Oreo right now is trying to freaking potty train him. Once he's completely potty trained, like he doesn't poop in the house, but he'll still pee in the house. And he pees a little bit when he gets like excited or scared. So I don't know how to really break him out of that. Like Prince was a completely different dog. Like Prince probably trained himself. I didn't have no problems with Prince. Oreo is definitely the problem child. Like you can never have two good kids. Like I'm convinced. So like I said, I got black, tan, and brown. Obviously because I am planning to move to a place that is mostly like brown. So I wanted it to match. Um, they did come in pink, blue, gray, and another color. So this is just a playpen for dogs. Hopefully it's big enough. I got a size small. Hopefully I don't need a bigger size, but looking at it, I might need a bigger size. So Oreo, I forgot he's way bigger than Prince. I might need a larger size <laughs> because this is as tall as Oreo. Yeah, 
I don't even know why I got a size small. Ugh, now I gotta return this and wait to get another one. Anyways, this is what it looks like. So basically, you will unfold this and it's a little playpen. So if you had like a smaller dog, like print size, or maybe even a little bit smaller, I feel like this will be perfect because Oreo is taller than this, literally. So it's, it's not gonna work. Look how tiny this is. Oh, I'm so sad because I wanted it to be big enough so I can put that fresh patch of grass in here so I can kind of like keep them consolidated. So, yeah, this isn't gonna work. He's as tall as this. Like, watch if I try to put him up in here. <laughs> and if I do this, he's literally... Okay, so hey y'all, I'm filming on my iPad. Um, I just checked the status of my camera and it says now my camera isn't gonna be delivered until Tuesday, um, January 20 something, I don't know. It's the 20th, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So the 24th is when it'll be here. So baby, I didn't just went shopping. I got content to make, so. I'm recording my vlogs now on my iPad. I'm gonna be switching back and forth from iPad to iPhone. So this is just for all y'all inspiring YouTubers out there. Y'all do not need a camera. Um, I think I got the quality pretty okay for right now. This is like on the HD 4K setting on the iPad. And I got the like the biggest iPad that you can get right now. So yeah. And my iPad has more space than my iPhone. So I'm using this one. But me and my friend Janae just got back from home goods as you can see. And we went to Kohl's and Chick-fil-A to get our nails done. So, got my nails done. Super cute. These are my real nails. These two are tips. And then the rest are all of mine. She only had to put on two tips. So, super cute. I love. So, I'm going to give y'all a little haul. And then we're going to start putting this stuff together. And putting it up. So, from Kohl's, I only got one thing. Um, if you didn't know... You can return stuff at Kohl's. So I think in the clip before this, I told y'all guys I was gonna go return um, Prince, well, Oreo's little playpen that I got for him. So if you return something at Kohl's, you get a 25% off coupon. So I was just, we was just walking around. I don't think she ever been in Kohl's before or that Kohl's at this location. So we went and looked around and I stumbled across this. This, the camera has it flipped. That's something that I don't like. <laughs> So yeah, anyways, this is a, um, a three-tier shoe rack. It holds up to nine pairs of shoes and it got a walnut finish. So like I said in the previous clip, um, this style will match my next apartment if I can get into this apartment. Like if one comes available, like I said, I will move. But if not, just gonna stay here. But I do still like the brown tones. Um, I do have some like tan and brown items in my apartment. So I'm kind of like transitioning my um, like color scheme. So anyways, I got this. I'm gonna put this up tonight probably. It was regular $59.99 and then it was on sale for like $44.99. And then I also got 25% off. So with taxes and everything, I think I only paid like $35, $36. So. I think that was a really, really good steal. And moving on to the stuff I got from Home Goods. I can't show you guys everything simply because some of the stuff is for Bay um, for his housewarming gift because he is moving. So I can't show you everything, but I can show you this one. This was $9.99. I think this was a very, very good deal. It says handmade with love, made in India. Um, this jar, I felt like they probably would have ran you like $15, but 
This is only $9.99. I'm gonna put the boys' treats in this. Like, I'm literally gonna dump every single treat that I have for them in this that isn't like a biscuit. Like, that's not like a hard treat. So all the soft treats, I'm literally just gonna put it, put it on in here. And whenever I need to give them a treat, I'm just gonna pick one random treat and they're gonna get a random treat every time. So, super excited about this. And like I said, I'm going for the neutral brown tones now. So, I'm excited about this one. I'm gonna put this down on the floor. I think that's all that's in here. All right, moving to this bag. I think I can show y'all this one. I can show y'all most of what's in here. So, keeping along with, hold on a sec. Okay, so I also got this. This is a rain jacket for Oreo. Um, I got it in a size medium. Hopefully it fits him, but I try to keep all of their stuff like blue. So, I thought this was super cute. It just straps right here. Oops. <laughs> It straps like this, put it over his head, and then strap around his body. Um, Prince already have a jacket. Oreo didn't, obviously, because I just got him last year, and Prince, he's been had one. But this one was super cool. Um, it got a little zipper right here, so if you put a harness around your dog, you'll be able to still wrap them up in this without actually getting them wet. Or if you do a collar, you can still do it right here. So Oreo has a collar, and he has a harness, so I feel like this one worked out perfectly and it was on sale for ten dollars the regular price the regular price was 25 so this is super cute and the next thing that i got that's pertaining to the dogs is this little bitty it's called reversible crate mat so it's perfect for crates for size medium hopefully this fits if it don't i'll still just stuff this in there so it says it's to comfort the joints it is reversible, sturdy, and lightweight. I basically got this because I'm tired of him and his nails. Like when he gets excited or like he just wants to be out of the cage, he'll just start scratching like the bottom of the cage. And it just makes a really, really, really annoying sound. And y'all know I work night shift, 12 hour night shifts overnight. And when I'm at home and he just be scratching or like moving around, sometimes it scares me. And sometimes like other times it just annoys me. So I got this because this is not as annoying as the actual like plastic so i'm excited to try this out hopefully this one works out pretty well and don't really make too much noise i feel like since this is a more softer like cushion type i feel like i'm gonna like this sound a lot better this one is for me they had this on clearance for nine dollars regular 19.99 um, I've been trying to just just up my kitchen. I think I said that in the clip before this. So I do need new silverware. So I got a 16 piece set. And I don't know, I did want a matte black, but a lot of people were saying the matte black that I looked at on Amazon, that it was like, it's not dishwasher safe. It'll start peeling and it's just, it's just not cute. So I got this one. This is more of like a darker silver. So I feel like it could pass for it you know that black or matte black type of look so yeah it's it's a pretty dark silver like it's not like that bright obnoxious silver so i like this one this is the one i got and luckily it was on clearance so yeah and right now i got baby forks so i'm really excited to use these i'm gonna um, run these to the dishwasher i do got some dishes to clean so i'm just gonna throw all of this stuff in there and clean all of that the Next two things are for Bay, and I think I'm gonna have this video posted before I actually give this to him. So I'm gonna wait to show y'all that, but just know it's like, uh, I did get this off of clearance. It's a baking, a large um, crisping tray is what it says. Um, I'm gonna use this to bake my little square pizzas on. I really don't care that it's meant for crisping. So easy food release, yeah. So I'm gonna use it as a baking tray, literally to put a pizza on, but I got this on clearance, it was $4. I think that's a really good steal. <sighs> I got more poop pads. These are actually on sale for $3. Um, They were regular $5.99, then they went down to four, then three. I think this is around the time for pretty good sales going on right now at like Ross TJ Maxx Home Goods. So definitely get into the stores and get this stuff. I think the last thing that I got, yeah is this i've been wanting and needing a freaking cast iron skillet for i don't know how long y'all know i love to cook me some steak y'all y'all know 
So literally I can, you know, sear it and cook it on top and then put it in the oven to give it that chef's kiss. So I'm excited about this. This is only $12.99. I've been looking on Amazon and I don't know, but they were like way higher than $12.99. So this is the brand I got. You guys can see that. I'm super excited. It's say oven and boiler safe up to 500 degrees. So yeah this is very exciting for me i've been wanting one of these forever in the oven and on the stove top or the campfire so yeah 10 inches so what we got and then the other three things i got was for bay um my whole total tonight was 91 dollars, so not too bad i didn't want to go over 100 dollars. so i think i stayed on budget quite all right so that was the haul after i got done with the haul i decided to go ahead and break down those boxes then after breaking down the boxes i went ahead and washed those um I would say pots and pans, but I washed my new pan and then I washed the um, silverware. I decided to start on putting all of my spices into my new jars. I'm super excited about these. It made my apartment look so much better. So it will be linked in my Amazon storefront. It literally came with everything. It came with the labels, it came with the um, funnel, it came with the lids, the little separator thing, came with a cleaning tool, like everything you need. It came with like 300 and something labels. Um, circle ones, rectangle ones, and then it came with plain rectangle and circle ones that you can write your own spices in, like if you make your own blend or something like that. So I decided to start on that. Um, this will be in like a time lapse. So I decided to time lapse it because I thought that would be less editing one for me and then it just kind of goes by a little bit faster than me trying to like speed up the content in Final Cut Pro. So I put everything together, set it all up. It looks amazing. 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. Like I said, it'll be linked in my Amazon storefront. I absolutely love it. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What no 
numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017. All good, chuck to look around. Find one to see my type. Damn, my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet his girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Got a real credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing, though. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. Till then, I sit my drunk ass on that runway on this one. After putting the spices together, I did decide to go ahead and put all of the boys' treats into one container like I said I was going to do. So they had about three to four different bags of treats I just put in one bowl. So now, whenever they get a treat, I just stick my hand in. Whatever comes out, comes out, and they get it. Hugs, <laughs> um, the little bitty pet mat or pet bed, quote unquote, that I got, I decided to go ahead and put in Oreo's cage. Um, it is a little bit longer than what I was expecting it to be, but I kind of just pull it under the cage because he used to like flip it upside down in the cage. Like I've had it for a week now, so I realized that I need to actually pull it through under the cage. I probably put in a video what I'm talking about because I'm looking at it right now. But since I pulled it through, it works perfectly fine. I absolutely love it. That was from Home Goods. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. It definitely minimized those little scratching sounds that I used to hear all the time. After doing that, I decided to go ahead and start putting together my freaking um, shoe stand that's going by the door. I, I, pu I put this together at 2.30 in the morning, just to let y'all know that. So, baby was on the phone with me. The dogs were still up. Um, I don't know. I just, whenever I get something and I have like an off day, I just kind of want to get stuff done. So, I decided to just put that together and I'll let you guys watch and finish that. I did do a time lapse, so most of it is kind of like sped up really, really fast. Another one, yeah. Another one. DJ Khaled! Bitch is calling my phone like I'm locked up, now nah, stop. From the plane to the fucking helicopter, yeah. Cops pulling up like I'm giving drugs, ah, nah, nah. I'm a pop star, not a doctor. Just calling my phone like I'm locked up, now nah, stop. From the plane to the fucking helicopter, yeah. Cops pulling up like I'm giving drugs, ah, nah, nah. I'm a pop star, not a doctor. Hey, shorty with the long text, I don't talk to Shorty with the long legs, she don't shit. Yeah, last year I kept it on the top. Hey, 2020, I can't fuck it up. Yeah, I want a long life, a legendary one. I want a quick F and an easy one. I want a pretty girl and an honest one. I want this trick and another one. Yeah, and I'm trouble son, yeah. I'm a pop star, but this shit ain't bubble gun, yeah. You a probably think my manager is who the fuck, yeah. But my manager... I also didn't know if I wanted to put it on the right or the left side of the door. So I just decided to keep it where my original um, shoe rack <laughs> was. Um, I love the two tier so I could put shoes on top and bottom. Really, I could put shoes on top of the brown part, but I don't think I want to do that. I kind of just keep that right there for my hospital bag. So um, I use the hospital bag almost, well now, I don't use it almost every day, but um, I use it majority of the week. So I just keep that right there, easy access, grab and go, make sure I don't forget anything. My badge is at the door, the backpack is at the door, shoes at the door, everything's at the door. So I do like the top of that to kind of keep clean away from shoes and I just put my bags and anything that I need to not forget on my way out, I put it right there on the top. Then following the next day, I did go grocery shopping. So I'm gonna throw in a little bit of grocery shopping haul right now. 
just got back from Kroger's and Walmart. Um, the only things that I got from Walmart was the dog food and the steak and the roast and my fruit snack. So this is a little grocery shopping haul for you guys. I did decide to go to Kroger's first and get freshly sliced ham and freshly cut bacon. Um, I can never really finish the ham that comes like in the pre-made packs like that's from i can't even think of the brands it's so disgusting so now i know she let me try this ham in the store like she sliced off a piece and let me eat it tastes amazing 10 out of 10 this is the brand that i got i like smoked ham so i i used to get them to try to make sandwiches and i would never finish them and i know i'm gonna finish this and then i got freshly sliced hickory smoked bacon so this is the price that i paid and then this is the price that i paid i got a pound of each and yeah, I got pulled pork because I've been eating pulled pork like crazy at my job. So I decided to get this, try this out. I know my mama likes this brand and my cousin Dinah likes this brand. So I decided to try that. Got some grapes. This is like the healthier side <laughs> of the bunch. Tried to be a little bit of healthy, get 80% lean, 20% fat. And then I got 75% and then 19 grams of protein, 17 grams of protein. I am trying to keep up on my protein intake. So all of this is perfect. And then over here, I did give me some strawberry margarita and then the tropical mango of the Stella Rosa. And that's pretty much all I got. I'm about to put this up. Um, I did want to get some more liquor because as you can see over here, this quality is like not it. I need some more. So this one I'm probably going to, I've had these for a minute, so I may throw these out because I don't really know how long I've had those. And then I do need to get some more like Patron and some more hypnotic. I keep this here so I can remember to get this, but I always forget to get it. So yeah, and I had bought this little thingy from Target. I think it was so cute. It was a little bar card and it was $5. So I kind of just put all the bar card accessories on that to kind of maximize the space. The Oreo's in here barking because I'm trying to train him to use this new freshly patch of grass that I got and he will not use it like it's fresh grass but he won't use it so have him in here so he can try to pee and poop on there to get him house trained and he just will not use it and prince over here <laughs> playing with a toy and i also got my pots and pans i think i showed you guys that so i'm gonna open this up also and yeah, then I decided to put up my new pots and pans. I absolutely love those. I've been cooking with them for about a week now. I've only used two because the one main pan literally works for everything that I need to cook with. So I absolutely love them those. Everything from Amazon will be linked down in my Amazon storefront. 10 out of 10 recommend, even if you don't want the brown pots and pans, I did link a black and a white alternative for you guys in my Amazon storefront. <laughs> excuse me it should be under like my kitchen tab so if you like black white and brown they're all there literally perfect 10 out of 10 definitely recommend um i think that's all for this vlog i did want to kind of like narrate this one because the quality obviously isn't as good as this but i did want to put out the content because I mean I filmed it like if you ain't got your camera you just gotta make do with what you got okay I used to vlog off my phone anyway so it's just going back to my roots <laughs> and as always if you like this video if you didn't like this video still engage <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe and it's my next video I will see you lovelies then also if you want to compliment my hair because I know probably you will this is hair from my own brand AJB Beauty Collection I did pop in my um photo shoot vlog and stuff so this is the curly hair that i'm going to be selling i wanted to obviously wear it and promote it super cute i do have a five by five closure in um i did plan to launch february 1st but the girl hasn't sent me anything about my website so i think i'm still going to launch but i'm only going to be able to launch for like on hand like in person pickup because i don't have my website for y'all to order across you know the world so as soon as the website is done I'm going to be launching and I'm super excited. Thank you all for your kind words and support. And now I'm done. So until my next video, I'll see y'all then. Bye guys. Bye.